welcome back. We're on location today at the a new Med Spa that's in McFarland. These stressful days, if you're looking for a little pick-me-up, stick around later on. We'll meet the folks here at a new Med Spa. Maybe get some ideas to make us feel a little better, look a little bit better. Right now we're meeting with a, a certified financial planner, that's Sue Peck, and she's with Evolution Financial. Sue, welcome back. Thank you for having me. So these days, boy, we are up, we are down, and the market reflects it. And that's often where you hear people talking about timing the market. Yes. I wonder if we, we could start out by getting a definition, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so market timing is when you kind of predict for yourself where you think the market is going to go, and then you act upon that by either buying or selling on that prediction. The basically. whole buy low, sell high. Yep, thing. Okay. that's what you think you're that's doing. That's the goal, yes. right? That's what you think, <laughs> think you're doing. <laughs> I like it. So let's talk a little, Janet touched on this in, the, in her intro, but let's talk a little bit about when we most often see market timing. Yeah, most of the time when you see market timing, it's either when the market's been going up for a long time or perhaps goes up dramatically, or same thing on the other side. It goes down for a long time or goes down dramatically. And this is the kind of situation that we saw a lot of in March, right? So in March of 2020, the market plummeted. And a lot of people looked at that and said, I've got to get out. I just, I can't keep riding this. And so they got out of the market because they didn't want to lose any money. But the problem is the goal is to buy low and sell high. And what you're doing when you're buying as it's going up or selling as it's going down is you're doing the exact opposite of what you should be doing, even though it feels like you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that's where you know getting the emotion out of it can be so challenging for us as individuals because there's that fear piece, right? We don't want to be scared of losing money. Right. Let's talk a little bit about that in relation to life events. So are there maybe life events that might trigger this sort of market timing. Right, so when people are getting closer to retirement, they're often thinking, okay, I'm gonna be t retiring in a couple of years, I gotta get out of stocks because stocks are really volatile. But the problem is the market is going to continue to do what it's doing and so is inflation. And one of the reasons why you want to keep some stock exposure in your portfolio is because you want to be able to keep up with inflation. Your life doesn't end when you retire. That's not what you want it to do. You want your money to last throughout your retirement. And for that reason, why you want your investments to keep up with inflation, you're gonna need some of that stock exposure. So it's certainly worth a conversation. I'd be happy to have that conversation with people to talk about where you need to be and what you're comfortable with. Right, gosh, lots to do. Right, um, so it sounds like there is some timing with regard to your life events, um, but maybe not so much trying to time the market. You know, I just saw an article from, in Forbes, no less, it said, uh, uh, six reasons why market timing is for suckers. Mm. We don't want to be suckers, so no. working with someone like you can not only get the, the knowledge, I assume, but maybe, like Jessa said, take away some of the emotion of being involved. Mm. Yeah, um, exactly. It, uh, what, how would you advise people about working with an advisor? Right, well, one of the things, I mean, when you're working with an advisor, it is that collaboration, it is that conversation and getting the emotions out of things. I mean, one of the, the, one of the conversations I had with my clients back in March was talking about the fact that you know people wanted to get out, but I kept saying, do you really think the record highs that we hit in February are the highest that the market is ever going to go? It will likely go back up at some point. We don't know when, we don't know how, but it will likely go back up. And having those conversations changes it from a short-term mindset to that long-term mindset. And that removes some of that anxiety and helps you see, hey, maybe I can ride through this and potentially come on better on the other side. And you know everyone's in their own circumstances, so having an expert can help you navigate that is so helpful. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk quickly before we had to break here about collaboration because, you know, you doing the job that you do, there's probably opportunities where it makes sense to collaborate with others. Absolutely, I and mean, one of the things I do this job and I do this job alone. I am the sole employee of Evolution Financial, but I'm not alone in the world. I have a study group that I meet with on a monthly basis. I have financial organizations that I'm a part of that I'm actively taking part in the forums. Nobody's an expert in every single area and you really wanna reach out to other financial professionals who know their stuff and your clients are going to benefit because of that. So I definitely want to make sure that I work with others while I work with my clients. One of the things that I've enjoyed about our conversations over the years, Sue, is 
the way that you do collaborate and the, your commitment to continued education and making sure that you are translating that information into your work with your clients and we appreciate that. Absolutely, yeah. it all benefits the clients. Yeah. So in these last few moments that we have, if someone is looking to reach out to you, what's the best way to get started and is there a free consultation or how does, how does it work? Yeah, absolutely. Take a look at my website, uh, evolutionfinplan.com. You can schedule yourself right into my calendar and that first conversation, that's just to get to know each other and make sure that we would be a good fit. There's no charge for that. Excellent. Thanks again, Sue. Absolutely. Thank you. Sue Peck is the founder, president, and a certified financial planner with Evolution Financial. We'll be right back. We're TVW.